Hey guys, Meteor Reynolds, Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. Let's jump right into the, uh, the headlines here. We've got a strong East Coast storm system in the forecast that will develop over Florida, and then it's just going to rip its way up the East Coast. Kind of resembles the uh, superstorm of 1993, except for one big issue. This thing has no cold air with it. So it's mainly going to be wind, rain, and severe weather. In California, what is next for the West? We're in the doldrums right now. There is precip that hits California Sierra late 12, 17, and 12, 18. But I'll tell you, the problem is warm air. All the cold air is bottled up in a Canada. So when this precip hits, the freezing level rain snow line is going to be at like nine to 10,000 feet. So that precludes a lot of areas from seeing snow, unfortunately. Um, you're just going to have to wait until further down the road before we can really bring those snow levels down because there's so much warm air that's just going to be flooding the west. Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, it could be a long time. We could be talking 12, 23, or even later before we get anything appreciable. Um, Colorado, New Mexico will probably get some snow, some light snow. Uh, in fact, um, some of the energy coming out of California will probably take a southern track and affect uh, southern Colorado and New Mexico to some degree more than anywhere else. So that's what's, uh, that's what's on the, uh, the docket here. Let me show you what uh, the, uh, the water vapor satellite imagery shows right now. First, I want to mark, so here is this energy, this low, that's going to be diving through the Gulf, and then it's going to be developing, moving through Florida, and then up the East Coast. So we've also got a low out here. That's part of a larger trough that is sinking down and it's going to set up right in here. And then eventually it's going to move that moisture into the Sierra late 12, 17 and 12, 18. But the jet's way up here right now. So all this cold air is being locked up or bottled up into Canada. And we're just getting this warm Pacific flow across the West right now. And then it's going to dive down and really help to support the development of this area of low pressure and help it to um, just move it fast, move it quickly up the East Coast. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's the state of affairs by this afternoon. This is Saturday morning. Again, we're in the doldrums. We're just waiting for anything. Here's Saturday afternoon. Here comes Sunday morning. Now, late on Sunday, uh, we have precip coming in into 1218. Notice right there. This actually indicates mainly rain for Tahoe, unless you're above 10,000. And that's going to be the case for the Mammoth area as well. Again, 10,000, you should really be a 10 or, or higher to get any snow out of this. All right, here is uh, Monday into Tuesday. Here's Tuesday morning. Um, here's Tuesday afternoon. Again, there's just not much happening. Um, by Wednesday, 9.15 p.m., um, there's just a lot of warm air and very little precip. Uh, most of the energy coming out of California is going to be diving to the south after 1220. That's when we could start to see some light snow in Colorado and New Mexico at that point. All right, let me show you the jet stream pattern here. So this is 1217. Here comes the approaching energy, the trough into California, just pushing warm air in. Uh, notice that the bending jet down over the east coast, that's going to be supporting the development of that storm system. All right, here's 1224. Southern Branch is dominant here, and you know, looking down the road, even beyond Christmas, the Southern Branch is still very dominant. What we need is to involve the Northern Branch and start to bring in shots of cold air. And you can see there is a jet streak coming off the Pacific there at 1224, so that may be the leading edge of something, um, 1224, 1225, and beyond. So we'll, it's just a waiting game at this point. Let me take you to uh, the numbers. So 1215 through 1217. There's just nothing there. It's too warm. Um, here's the latter period. This is 1218 through 1224. And again, notice the energy comes out of California where there's not a whole lot of snow accumulation. And most of it's going to be in southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. Everybody else, at best, has light snow potential. It's, again, it's a waiting game. Let's go to the East Coast. So this is the jet pattern 1217 late in the day. Clearly the development of, of a strong area of low pressure, a lot of wind, a lot of rain, and no cold air. This is the, uh, the forecast radar and satellite, 12, 18, 6 in the morning. It's all rain in the northeast. It will change over to snow late 12, 18 into 12, 19, but at that point, we're only talking light accumulations. It's the end of the storm. It's going to sweep through very quickly. Imagine what would happen if this did have cold air. This would be a major storm system. So here are my snow numbers for the northeast. 1215 through 1224, 
one to four inches for most places, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Um, and again, that's on the back side as the storm is exiting. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.